Well, these two teams have already played, of course, on match day one. Now they are involved in this fixture in the Champions Cup match day two. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I think there's improvements to be made from both sides from match day one. So let's see if they can achieve that. I'll be keeping an eye out for those runs towards the near post from Edinson Cavani. He loves to get to corners in front of defenders and scored a lot of goals for clubs and for country like that. Yeah, very strong in the air. I'm sure that is something that the opposition manager would have spoken about to his defenders before this match. The line-up for the home side. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and say so Pastore in the wide positions. Edinson Cavani is the main striker today. Got to be. Well, that's way, way over the bar. Keeping possession. Nicely played through ball. Pastore! That's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. That will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Cavani! That's a fine header. But wide of the post. Yeah, unlucky. The keeper, you know, he wasn't going to get there. And he's used his head there to keep his side in possession. And he could get away here. Mota! And they've scored now. And the significance is that they're in front. Not there when needed, the goalkeeper, as it turned out. No, one or two of his defenders looking at him, having words, and you can understand why. Poor decision from him. Jonathan Soriano. Well, he's threaded the pass through neatly. Forget the equaliser. And the board shows three added minutes. Here's a chance to attack. That looked very good indeed, but the... Well, good forward play from them. Gone for the through pass. Played into the middle. Caught under no challenge by the goalkeeper. Matuidi. It's looking good, this move. And the referee spotted that deflection, he's pointed for the corner. From a winning position, of course, and the fact they are winning is down to the player that he's going to bring off now. Yeah, I think he was maybe tiring a bit last five minutes, and his manager clearly wants to protect what is an important player. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. And this will be a change, and it's Paris Saint-Germain who are making it. There's well, good progress with this attack. Good play. But they've lost the ball now. Trying to switch on the attacking. The shot's on! He's reached it and turned it aside. The keeper can collect this one. And then pass. Great chance! Di Maria! When it gets a goal like El Di Maria, it's usually a special one, and that's certainly the case this time. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and he'll blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. Restarting at 2-0. Now it's five minutes to go. Berisha. 
Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Well, they're still last game back on again now. The deficit cut in half. They've worked hard to do this. They've certainly not given up. My goodness, now that will get the opposition panicking, I think, a little bit. They could break through again for an equaliser. Restart the game 2 1. Baratti. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Cavani. Comes in strongly. Maybe the chance to salvage something from this game. Victory for Paris Saint-Germain today. I think we thought that this team would be brushed aside. They proved those thoughts to be very misguided. Well, I think they'll get a real pat on the back from their manager because they gave it their all. Didn't leave anything out on the pitch there today. Some final thoughts on... Alan Smith alongside me. Alan, this is a very intriguing group. We had a couple of games for each club now, and now we're on to match day three. Beginning to shape up. Yeah, I think so. The group does begin to take shape, and uh, we'll begin to see who are going to be the favourites to top it. Our match for you today is Roma against Red Bull Salzburg. Well, they need a rallying cry in Rome, don't they? Because this could end in real disappointment, maybe even disaster, they would say, in the Italian capital. Look at the standings as it is at the moment. Yeah, they've got some ground to make up and they will be hoping they can do it today because really haven't been performing so far. Shots on here. Great save by a diving goalkeeper. Well, that's gone behind. It'll be a corner. And he's met it with his head. And it's a shot now. Well, that's easy for the goalkeeper, Chesney. And now they're here. But he's threaded the path through neatly. And now the shot. What a fine save. Corner for Roma. And he's headed it goalwards. A oh, well saved. Looking to play his teammate through. He's got support here. Well, he could go for goal from here. Great hands. Oh, just to see maybe a sight of goal. Berisha. Lovely one-touch football. This for the it's a great moment. They've scored here and they're into the lead. Well, 
Well, they're going to go in really happy, having scored right on half-time. The opposition just the opposite. Yeah, the task for the goal-scoring team is to try and keep the momentum after the break now. It's looking good, this move. They've opened them up here. A oh, great work by the keeper. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Wonderful chance! Oh, what a fine goal! They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable and they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, this is what you call leading from the front. A strike from the skipper. Yeah, he's popped up at a very good moment there. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. On to the attack now. Roma's corner. Great header, great save. Oh, nothing wrong. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. And it's a shot now! And he's put it away. Oh, talk about a dramatic appearance there from the substitute. Brilliant goal from him. There's another one for them. Well, it's certainly going to help the goal difference. It might be important at the end of the season. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Diego Perotti. Moving forward with some danger to the opposite. Shots on here. Good block. And the goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Well, the strikers must wonder what they have to do today to find the back of the net. And they're up against a top-class keeper here. added minutes here he's got his shot off now I know what will happen in training Alan they'll do that for him and show him what an awful miss it was I don't think he'd be rushing home to watch the highlights tonight Diego Perotti Francesco Totti Well, that confirms it, the final score, 3-0. Just looking down, the manager's got a smile as wide as the pitch because it's been a near-perfect day for him and his team. Yeah, definitely. Clean sheets and uh, one or two goals into the bargain so they can move on with confidence. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan? Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality and a good goal along with plenty of chances.